Alexander Uzik versus Anthony Joshua. Two, the rematch. The fight is finally official. They've officially announced this rematch. Fights taking place on the 20th of August, August 20, 2022, live over in the Middle East in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, to be shown live around the world on the zone. Um, well, it's unclear if it's going to be pay per view. Most likely pay per view for the UK fight fans. At least I think so. If this is pay per view here in the States, oh my goodness, bro. <laughs> well, I haven't heard anything about being pay per view in the States, but uh, there's a very good chance it will be pay per view for the UK fight fans. So, anyway, as we all know, last year, back in September of last year, uh, Uzik ended up defeating Anthony Joshua in, in a shocker. I think a lot of people were shocked. Um, I would imagine uh, of uh, Uzik defeating Joshua the way he did. Uh, it was a pretty clear win, in my opinion, for Uzik, who uh, ended up winning the IBF, WBA, WBO uh, heavyweight titles, taking those belts away from Joshua. And uh, since then, you know, it it they haven't been. Joshua activated the rematch clause, but they weren't able to figure out what's next. Uh, well for big reasons there was COVID going around and the invasion to Ukraine from Russia um, Uzik was there you know he wasn't you know the front lines um, he'd seen that some action um, but in the end he uh, he left he ended up leaving and apparently you can leave as long as I think if you have three children I think if you have three kids you can leave uh, Ukraine because I think uh, if like 17 or 18 and above uh, males can't leave the country. Uh, I think there's uh, certain conditions that you have to meet in order to leave. And uh, Uzik was able to meet those conditions. So he left and I think he's training somewhere in Europe. I think he was last I heard he was in Poland, but I'm not sure where he is right now. Um, but yeah, he, you know, he, he was right there in uh, uh, watching his home country get invaded by by Russia. Some question his mentality and his, you know, his physical abilities uh, because of what he went through uh, mentally and physically. I think there were reports saying that he lost like 20 pounds or something because of this invasion, uh, because of this war between Ukraine and Russia. So, um, but he's looking good in camp, though. I gotta say, from recent clips and pictures, uh, he's looking good in camp. So I think he'll be he'll definitely be ready for the rematch against Joshua, in my opinion. Uh, as far as Joshua's side, um, you know, Joshua has now linked up with Robert Garcia. Uh, Robert Garcia will now be his head trainer, um, living his longtime trainer. Uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name at the top of my head. Uh, the British guy, uh, British coach. Um, man, I'm blanking on his name. You guys know who he is. <laughs> his longtime trainer, he, he decided to leave him, and uh, now he's with Robert Garcia. Um, and also, he has now signed, officially signed with The Zone. Um, over here in the States, his fights have been showing on The Zone here in the States. But over in the UK, his fights were still being shown on uh, Sky Sports. Sky Sports pay-per-view. But now, he has decided to leave Sky and fully go on with The Zone. Uh, the deal also in includes millions and millions of dollars. Uh, not only that, it also includes like some shares with the zone. So he he's definitely gonna be with the zone for, for the long run, and um, and yeah, he will probably retire with the zone. So so yeah, it's uh it'll be interesting. Uh, I, I'm very much looking forward to this uh, rematch. Uh, Rage on the Red Sea is the name of the event. <laughs> I just hope it's not pay-per-view here in the States. That's that's all I'm hoping for. Please don't make it pay-per-view here in the States. In the UK, I can understand if it's pay-per-view in the UK. But here in the States, come on, bro. Come on. I, I haven't heard anything yet, but, you know, we'll see. I'm tired. It's 12 in the morning. Gotta go to bed. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening and watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.